What to do, what to do, what to do. We're back in the kitchen. Welcome to Uncle Dib's Kitchen. We're live here making a very, very, very special dish. A, uh, I call this like the finale for the winter before we get into the hotter months because once it starts to get hot outside, you don't really want to be cooking any hot dishes inside your house to make it even hotter, especially if you're down south. And this is a, I want to say classic down south dish because I'm doing it my way, but this is definitely a southern staple, especially if you're from Mississippi. <clears throat> so we're going to do something called a Mississippi pot roast, but this version is going to be called the Delta pot roast because I'm going to put my little twist and in, in, in flavor onto it. And that's what cooking's about. Cooking is not about following the strict rules and instructions and things like that. It's about getting a base layer so you know where you're going. But if you want to make some stops and some roundabouts and things like that, you can do that. That's totally fine. And that's what it is about in my kitchen. I do things my way, the Uncle Dibs way. So we're going to do my version of a Mississippi pot roast, which is called a Delta pot roast. This full recipe will be available on my site, UncleDibs.com. But like I said, one of a kind. You get the gist of it, but it's gonna be my own way. But the classic things you need for this dish are all gonna remain the same. We're just using different elements, all right? So if you're tuned in, shout out to Mississippi, representing in the live. I don't like cooking for strangers, so let me know in the chat right now where you tuned in from, where you watching from, where you relaxing from. I'm live here in the H-Town, Houston, Texas. That's my introduction. My name is Uncle Dibs. So let me know where you watch it from. So the grown-ish, my moderator, she's going to keep things in line. If you get out of pocket, she got you. Uh, shout out to D.C., North Carolina, New Orleans in here, Seattle up in here. Uh, we got Texas up in here too as well, New York. And listen, I'm in follower-only mode right now. So if you want to leave a comment and so I can see it and not just you can see it, Make sure you hit that follow button so I can see your comments, all right? This is going to be a little bit of a longer live, so if you want me to see your comments, hit that follow button so I can see what you're talking about, all right? We got Alabama, Iowa, Las Vegas. I didn't get back out there. I need to play some blackjack. Shout out to Denver. Shout out to everybody tuned in right now. And we had almost 300 likes. Double tap that screen for your uncle one time so we can get right with the get right, all right? So listen, if you're ready to get this recipe started, throw some fire emojis in the comments right now so I can go over this ingredients list and we can get down to business because I am hungry, all right? Let me see them fire emojis, y'all. Let me see y'all. Because I'm gonna give you the rundown from top to bottom. If you're tuning in right now, you're tuning in at the very right time because we're right here at the beginning, all right? All right, y'all. So, the Delta Pot Roast. First thing you're gonna need is this beautiful piece of meat right here. This is called a chuck roast. You see that? Does anybody know what those little white lines are called right there? Does anybody know what those little white specks and white uh, avenues and highways and rivers all through that meat are called? Anybody know the name for that right there? Going, going once, going twice, going three times. The name for that right there is called marbling, okay? Uh, and you got it. And marbling is pretty much the same thing as flavor, same thing as fat. But with fat, you have good fat, you have bad fat. In this case, this is good fat because this is going to what this is going to bring that flavor to this pot roast, and this is going to be a nice slow and slow cook. So we're going to need plenty of that. All right. So first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to add a little olive oil over to the top, and also there are other ingredients on this list. I'm just going to go over them as we hit them because I want to get this uh, slab big hunk of meat up in this uh, Dutch oven so we can get to cooking. And I'm out here in Texas, and in Texas we got really, really good quality beef. But if you need good quality beef, make sure you try to go prime if you can. You can go choice if you want, choice plus if you want with this. Prime is always gonna be your best option, but do what you can. All right, for seasons, we're gonna go a little double trouble with this, all right? We're gonna hit it with, speaking of Texas, we're gonna hit it with that Texas steak rub, okay, to give it a nice base flavor. And then to give it to that real, real, Cajun essence, we're gonna go with that Delta Dust too as well. So this is gonna be a twofer, all right? So I'm gonna start off the top side with some of that Texas steak rub. 
All these seasonings are available on my site, UncleDibs.com, as well. If you want to grab them, they're all natural, all organic, non-GMO, gluten-free. Now I'm going to come and hit it with that Delta Dust as well. One of my best sellers just came out with this last year, and it's already one of my best sellers. You can, also, you can already see the difference with that color when I put that Delta Dust on there, too. That's that, that's that, Cajun, and, that's that Cajun essence right there, all right? Pat it in. Make sure you get the sides all seasoned up too as well. Now hit it some more of that Delta dust. I got my Dutch oven over here. You're gonna need a high-sided pot to cook this dish. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze. That seasoning kicking in. I'm about to sneeze, y'all. Ooh, here's a little trick. If you're ever somewhere and you and you don't want to sneeze. Say like you're trying to hide from like a, a, a robbery or something like that. <laughs> Excuse me. That seasoning, y'all. That seasoning is killing me. But I mean, it's going to be good. If you ever want a trick, if you ever want a trick, like if you're at a funeral or something, you don't want to make no noise or draw attention to yourself, this is what you do. You take your tongue and you, and you scrape the top of your, the roof of your mouth with your tongue like this. Just do that real quick, and it'll cancel out the sneezing. It works every time. All right? So if you're about to sneeze, you feel it coming in your, in your, in your nose real quick, just hit your tongue on the top of the roof of your mouth, and you're good to go. Listen, we learning today. We ain't just cooking. We learning life hacks here, too, all right? But anyway, Dutch oven is over medium-high heat. We're going to give a nice sear to this slab of beef right here. So I'm going to use avocado oil, okay? Avocado oil, because it's, it's, it has a high smoke point, all right? So I'm going to hit my Dutch oven with that avocado oil. It's got a nice gleam and glimmer on it. And then we're just going to drop, boom, this big slab of beef right up in there, just like this. Press 5 if you can hear that right now. Press 5 in the comments if you can hear that sear. I'm going to stop talking so y'all can hear. Press 5 if you can hear that sear right there. So what that's doing right now is locking in those flavors, all right? We're not going to cook this all the way right now. What we're doing is just getting a nice brown uh, color to that beef. We're going to do that on each side for about four to five minutes on each side. Now let's talk about some of those other ingredients that I talked about before. If you just now tuned in, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're tuned in from. We're doing a nice, my style of a Mississippi pot roast. It's called a Delta pot roast. Classic, um, classic recipe, but with my twist, all right? Next, you're going to need two onions, all right? You can slice them up, but I'm just going to give a nice rough chop. And that's going to go into the pot roast a little bit later. I'm just going to take some of them skins off. If you want to put them in whole, you can. They're just going to disintegrate in that nice gravy. We're going to make a nice gravy, too, to go with this as well. So I'm just peeling the skins off. I usually like to prep before I go live, but I just kind of wanted to get this on. So you guys are seeing a lot of the full process from start to finish, which I hope is all right with y'all. It makes it a little bit more authentic and if you're cooking along <coughs> excuse me it's getting smoky up in here so i'm just going to keep them just like this half of them or you can quarter them if you want to as well i might do both just to show you quarter them just like this take them skins off and set those to the side now also, with this dish, we get a little bit spicy. If you like spicy, put a number five in the comments, y'all. If you like spicy, put a number five in the comments. This is going to be funny because I know there's going to be some people that don't like spicy. So, traditionally, in a Mississippi pot roast, you put pepperoncinis in the dish, but I'm going to do a little bit different.
We're going to go with some jalapenos, okay? If you like jalapenos, put a number three in the comments. Now, jalapenos are hot to some people, but it's here in Texas. That's mild, Saudi. That's mild. I can see we already get a nice color on our beef right there. I'm loving it. Smoking up the house. It's got me coughing. <coughs> but you know we're good. It's like the next best thing to cooking out over the open flame, you know? Getting that house smelling good. And this is a nice, just one pot dish. It's kind of like one of them set it and forget it type dishes. So even if you don't like to cook, this is perfect for you. For real, for real. I know it's a new month. Summer's on the way. The kid's almost out of school. So I already know. All right. So I really just ended up quartering my onions just like this. Somebody said jalapenos are candy in Texas. Hey, that's for damn sure. Jalapenos are definitely just another vegetable. It's not spicy at all. But if you don't like it spicy, that's totally fine. You don't have to uh, include that. But this right here is such a thick piece of uh, beef. It's going to incorporate nice and well. And when we mix it in with the gravy, you're going to see what it does. We're going to flip this, uh, this beef right now. Let's check the flavor. Let's check the color. Look at that color there, y'all. <coughs> it's getting smoky in here, y'all. So like I said, about four minutes on each side. We're gonna continue on the ingredients list as well. You're gonna want some garlic. All my garlic lovers, put a number one in the comments right now. If you do not love garlic like I love garlic, you can put three cloves in there. But if you love garlic like I love garlic, put as many as you want, <laughs> okay? I put the whole bulb in there, all right? You can mince them up, but with this being a, a low and slow process, I keep them whole because it just incorporates in those juices and it just all combines all into one. So I don't feel like there's a need to really mince them and dice them. It's not like we're making a quick pasta or anything like that. This is a nice low and slow dish. So everything's just gonna melt all together. You know what I mean? Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Man, we got almost 3,000 likes. Everybody double tapping that screen. Thank you for that love so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, y'all. Other ingredients that you need. Let me take a little sip of water here, y'all. Get your eight glasses a day, y'all. Get your eight glasses a day. So, other ingredients that you need. You're going to need some flour to make that gravy. Just two tablespoons. You're also going to need two cups beef broth. You're going to need three quarters stick of butter, unsalted butter. Because we're cooking with salt with these seasonings already, you don't need to add double salt with salted butter. So unsalted butter, th uh, three quarters stick, almost dropped it. Some Worcestershire sauce. And then listen, you're gonna wanna put some of this ranch seasoning over the top too as well. Just, that, that keeps it classic. The Mississippi, uh, Mississippi pot roast is not an old school recipe. This is something that uh, is relatively new within like the last 20 years, 25 years. But anytime anybody hears Mississippi, they just think it's like back into the plantation days. That's not the case. This is a pretty new recipe. So that's why I feel comfortable putting my little twist on it. Is anybody from Mississippi? Anybody from Mississippi? Let me know where you're from. If you're from Mississippi, let the chat know. Excuse me. It's getting smoky in here, y'all. All right, y'all. Other than that, the one ingredient that I'm going to put in for, for me personally is some of these Calabrian peppers right here, okay? This is going to give that nice spice.
that'll replace that spiciness that'll replace the uh, um, the pepperoncinis that that are in the original recipe. You don't have to do that, but if you like it spicy, that's a little tip that you can do. Thank you for the the roses, Trill. All right, y'all. Let's remove this. Let's get started. Come here, come here, come here. Ooh, yeah. All right. Y'all see that flavor on there? It ain't ready yet. There's a nice sear on the outside. It's not cooked on the inside. A nice sear on the inside. I mean on the outside. And then set that to the side. Now next, we're going to add that butter. Add that butter right up in there. Let that melt, spread it all around. Once that gets melted, we're going to add our onions, and then we're going to add our garlic as well, and then we're going to start to work up on that gravy, okay? I think we got pretty much a, a American uh, viewership, viewership right now because it's nighttime. What's for dinner tonight in your house? Put whatever's dinner is for, uh, uh, is for you for tonight, whatever is on your dinner plate for tonight. Put it in the comments right now. I want to see what y'all are eating. Y'all in my house, y'all seeing what I'm eating. I want to see what y'all eating. I want to hear what y'all are eating. Put what you're eating in the comments. Remember, I'm in follower only mode right now, so if you want me to see your comment, you must, you must be following me. I love that feature. All right, y'all. The butter's melted, the onion's going in. Someone said New York strip. New York strip first of the month. I like it. I like it. Next, garlic. Right up in there. Let me move these onions around. And I know those uh, that the onion looks like it's big and chunky because I only cut them in the quarters. But this is gonna go low and slow in the oven at 350, two and a half, three hours. If you can, you can do 325 for three to three and a half hours, but I'm trying to eat tonight, not tomorrow. So I'm doing 350 for two and a half hours. All that stuff is, all those onions, the garlic, like I told you before, it's all going to disintegrate and become one dish, including with the beef, all right? Garlic, right up in there. If anybody knows the smell of garlic and onion being cooked in olive oil or butter, then you know what I'm smelling right now. You know what I'm smelling right now. I'm smelling love right now. All right, y'all. Now we're gonna get that gravy prepared. Let me grab my spoon over here. All right, so two tablespoons of flour. Let that cook down for a little bit longer. Oh yeah. And that's also why you want to add that much butter too as well because you don't want to end up burning your garlic. There's nothing, there's no worse taste on earth than burnt garlic. It is like, it's like, you ever brushed your teeth when you was a kid before breakfast and then you went to go drink some orange juice after you brushed your teeth? It's like that. You don't want that. You don't want that, all right? So, I've been looking for this. It was sitting right there in the, uh, <laughs> in the flour. Okay, and make sure this says flour too, by the way. I've definitely had instances where I thought I was using flour, but it was powdered sugar or salt. That's why it's important to label. You got to label. Someone said, hey, I didn't know you moved to Houston. Uh, yeah, I've been in Houston. Actually, it's been crazy. Uh, three, almost three years, I think, in like next month. All right, so two tablespoons 
of flour. And this is going to start that start that uh, that gravy. Grab your wooden spoon or utensil and start whipping that thing up, okay? Mix it in with the onions and that garlic. And this is going to create that nice base for that roast to be chilling on, all right? This is like this is like the satin sheets for that roast. It's going to be an amazing sleep that this roast is going to take tonight, all right? It's like that it's like that thousand thread count type type stuff right here. All right? I'm going to add just one more tablespoon of garlic. I mean, uh, <laughs> flour. You see, I got garlic on my mind. And just keep on whipping that up until we get a nice, thick roux. We're making a roux right now, y'all. We're making a roux. We're making a roux. We're making a roux. Quick roux. We're not doing a gumbo roux. I know all my gumbo lovers, if you like, if you like gumbo, put a number three in the comments. Where are my gumbo lovers at? Put a number three in the comments, y'all. Because I got, I got some questions I got to ask you. Not ask you. I got some questions I got to ask you. Just a little bit more flour. All right, so for all my gumbo lovers, because I know you all are here. Because I know you love this down south cooking that I love doing in Uncle Dib's kitchen. What color roux do you like on your gumbo? You like it light skin? You like it peanut butter? You like it brown? Or you like it dark chocolate? What kind of what kind of roux do you what color roux do you like on your gumbo? Let me know. Because all rules are not created the same. Let's see what y'all talking about over here. Someone said dark chocolate, peanut butter, light skin, brown. With a last name like Boudreaux, I know you know what you're talking about. If your last name ends with E A U X, you know about some gumbo. That's somebody you can trust right there. All right, now what we're gonna do is deglaze. This is just two cups of beef broth. Is it two cups? It's a little less than two cups. Let me, let me add some more to this broth. Where's my broth? Here we go. I gotta get my eyes checked. That's definitely not two cups. All right, two cups beef broth right there in your pot. We're just cooking, y'all. We're just cooking. Boom. Smelling so good. A lot of people, sometimes I, I see some comments that are like, hey, can you just shut up and just give me the recipe, dude? I'm like, dude, relax. You're in my kitchen, so that means it's my rules. If I feel like having a conversation about rule colors, I'm gonna have a conversation about rule colors. You dig what I'm saying? Somebody said I look like Chef Jaheen. What's my favorite Jaheen song? Let me see. I would have to go with anything. Anything is probably my favorite Jaheen song. La da da da. See, nowadays, I don't think you can come out with a song like anything. Because uh, it's, it's a different world nowadays. That inflation does not does not uh, co-sign the, the anything qualities. You know what I mean? He starts off the record with saying he might he don't have fancy cars. He can't buy it all. I don't know too many ladies that's trying to hear that nowadays. All right, we got a nice color on our gravy there. We're going to throw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. All right, you got to shake that thing up. This is how I shake stuff up, just like this. Protect your face, protect your money maker, in case any accidents happen. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. 
One time, I was in New Orleans. Shout out to all my people from the NO. Couple shakes, couple shakes, couple shakes. And I was at this uh, restaurant called Willie Mays Scotch House. Anybody know about Willie Mays Scotch House? So at Willie Mays Scotch House, I was there getting me some fried chicken. And, you know, I can't have my fried chicken without one thing. Who knows what that one thing is? Who knows what that one thing is that I gotta have with my fried chicken? What's the one thing, I mean anybody, not just me. What's that one thing you gotta have with your fried chicken? What's that one thing? There you go. There you go. Doris got it. H-Town got it. Wu got it. Andre got it. My guy H-Money got it. I gotta have that hot sauce, baby. So I, w I got that hot sauce. I got my plate of chicken right in front of me. Uh, H, uh, Big J was with me, so he could co-sign this. I grabbed that hot sauce. I think they had Crystal's hot sauce there. And I went to go grab that hot sauce to shake that thing on my chicken. I grabbed that thing just like this. I went back like this to shake it up, just like I showed y'all. Cap wasn't tight on there. All over my Mitchell and Ness. Boom. But guess what? I still chow down anyways. Y'all think I was gonna leave because of a little bit of mess? Nah. But that's that's where I learned it. That's where I learned that technique at right there. That's where I learned that technique right there. Call that the hot sauce blocker. Or you can just make sure that the thing's on tight. But anyway, back to this. Alright, we got everything brewing. Everything's looking good, everything's smelling great. I wish you could smell it. If you want to smell what I'm cooking right now, just scratch your phone and you'll be able to smell it. If you can't smell it, want to go to the doctor and get your nose checked out. To go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor and tell them you need, need a little checkup, all right? All right, no, but seriously, we're having too much fun. Have the roast that we seared, put it right back up in there, just like that. Beautiful. Okay? Next, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that ranch seasoning. This is not one of my products, this is just straight up ranch seasoning that you can get from anywhere. I had to wake it up a little bit. We're just gonna put a little bit of that over the top, just like that. Most people get it in packets, and that's fine, but if you have it, if you just have a packet, just put one packet in there. Next, add a little bit more broth. We're gonna add, remember them jalapeno peppers? Just gonna add them whole, okay? Just add them whole. And then some fresh herbs. If you have rosemary, that's fine, but I'm going with thyme. Put that right over the top. And then last but not least, like I said, I like mine a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna add some of my Calabrian peppers, man. These are my favorite peppers right here. You can get these from any of your fine local grocery stores, like a Whole Foods or something like that. Just gonna add just a little bit of that in there, just to give it that spice, just to make it right. And literally, that's it, y'all. All you have to do now, set your oven for 350, okay? Make sure those peppers are nice and submerged. Set your oven for 350. Cover, drop it in the oven. Let me grab another towel so I don't burn my mitts. Two and a half hours, you should be good. All right, everybody say bye now. Everybody say bye. Everybody say bye. Two and a half hours, you're gonna take it out the oven. Get you two forks like this. Just get you two regular forks just like this and go up in that middle just like that and it'll shred like butter. It'll shred like cabbage, all right? Mix it all together. You can, if you wanna kick this low carb, 
I'm trying to do a little bit more low carb stuff on the channel. You want to keep it low carb, put this over some cauliflower rice, or you can just eat it as is. No shame in that. But if you want to keep it classic, whip you up some nice mashed potatoes, and you can lay that roast right over the top of your mashed potatoes, and you're good to go. If you don't want to use mashed potatoes, you can do regular rice. I don't know why I say rice. Regular rice or white rice, brown rice, dirty rice, whatever you want to do, you're good. Let me ask what y'all want to do. Would you rather have it on rice or mashed potatoes? Put one for rice, two for mashed potatoes. <clears throat> See, listen. Y'all gonna, gonna have me make some mashed potatoes right now. Y'all got me want some mashed potatoes, y'all. But yes, like I said, this full recipe will be available. I just kind of freestyle this for right now. But this full recipe will be available on my site, UncleDibs.com. And also, the seasonings I use, if you just now tuned in, with the Delta Dust and the Texas Steak Rub. You don't need to grab 50, 11 different seasonings just to make dinner, okay? I simplified it. I put all the best quality ingredients in these bottles, whether it's, it's my Texas Steak Rub, my Delta Dust, my Dirty Bird, my Creole Blend, whatever. I did the heavy lifting for you. I mixed everything on up. I mixed the medicine. I hit it with the right, hit it with the left. I bottled it up here just for you guys. And then guess what, y'all? Each bottle, <laughs> comes with a free recipe card right there. I gotta take your phone, hit that little QR code, and it'll take you right to my site. And you can find any recipe you want from lasagna, to pasta, to fish, to this dish right here. Anything you want, anything you want. Look, and that's no cap right there. That's a live review right there from Lady Donna. She said the Delta Dust is undefeated. So good. And listen, just because that just uplifted my spirits right now, I'm gonna do something special right here on the live. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do 35% off my entire site for the first 25 people to use this code. Somebody give me a code for 35% off, please. Somebody give me a discount code that I can use for 35% off. Something easy, something that's not hard to spell, something that everybody can use. Somebody give me a discount code. I'm a, thank you, Donna. I appreciate that. Matter of fact, I got it right now. Donna, D-O-N-N-A, 35% off. D-O-N-N-A, all caps, okay? D-O-N-N-A, all caps, 35% off. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go to UncleDibs.com. All you got to do is put that code right in there. Donna at UncleDibs.com. UncleDibs.com. Add whatever you want. Add whatever you like. You could add whatever you like. And put that code Donna. 35% off, all right? 35% off, man. And it ain't even a holiday. It's a Donna day, okay? A big shout out to Donna. I appreciate that love. Shout out to everybody that has my seasonings in their house or in their kitchen. I love it. I love it. I love it. But listen, y'all. Let me let me not forget my timer. Let me not forget my timer. All right, let me not forget that with my timer. While I'm waiting for that, I need something to hold me down in the interim, okay? And when I say the interim, I mean right now, all right? So I'm gonna make me a little smoothie. Is it cool if I make a smoothie? Put a number four in the comments if I can make a smoothie real quick for y'all, because if not, I'll just log off. And I'm watching my Tar Heels play right now. They, they, they're killing it against Notre Dame. So if I can make a smoothie for y'all right now, Put a number four in the comments. If not, I'll just I'll just kick back and watch the basketball game. You know what I mean? It make it make no difference to me. Okay, I'll stick around, y'all. I appreciate the love, y'all. 
And if you hit that number four, make sure you double tap that screen. Let's try to get to 7K. We got 6.6. That's too many. That's one, that's one six shy of 666. So let's try to get that up to like 7K right now. So we're not at 666. All right. Just for my psyche. Just for my psyche. I'm weird like that. All right. Let me grab my blender. Let me grab my ninja. Come here, my ninja. I love my ninja. Shout out to all my ninjas out there. I love my ninja. Make me a little smoothie real quick. Remember that code is Donna. First 35 people to use that code, get 35% off. So if you want to be one of us, you better go right now. I hear my, my, uh, my sight going off. So if you want some, you better come get some. All right, y'all. So y'all know I love my smoothies. I try to snack or try to not to snack as much. I'm older now. You know what I mean? So I gotta be a lot more vigilant as far as what I'm putting in the B-O-D-Y. But with all that being said, smoothies are something that have helped me go from um, snacking on stuff I shouldn't be snacking on or drinking stuff that I shouldn't be drinking on, but not only replenishing me, but also giving me nutrition as well. Shout out to 305. Hey, today is March 5th too. Shout out to 305 day. I used to live in Miami, so Miami was, a, Miami's actually where my business started at Uncle Dibs, okay? So big shout out to Miami. If it wasn't for Miami, they probably want to be Uncle Dibs, all right? So big shout out to 305, big shout out to Dade County and Broward County, all the way up to Palm Beach. So here's a little base smoothie that I like to put in my BODY. It's got a little solo cup. Add a little, add a little coconut water, okay? Just a little coconut water. Oh yeah, another ingredient I like. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me grab this. Some chia seeds. I gotta get that fiber together, y'all. I've been having, I don't need to give y'all all the info, but you need to have some fiber, all right? I'm gonna add a little bit of chia seeds in there. Just like that. Let them soak for a little bit if you want, but you can add them right now and that's fine. I have my pre-prepped fruits and vegetables already. I had them in the freezer. I took them out for maybe about an hour, and so they're nice and pliable. And as you can see up in here, we got some very fresh seasonal fruits and vegetables. We got some uh, strawberries, some beets, some kale, some bananas, some grapefruit, and some oranges. This is gonna be bussing. So all I'm gonna do, let me, somebody could tell me I wasn't even in camera view. Y'all could have could, told me that. All right, there we go. What I'm gonna do is just drop that right in my cup, just like this. Shake that thing that up in there. And this just makes it easy for me. If you wanna be that person that cuts your fruit fresh every single day, by all means, I love you for it, okay? But I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy, all right? I'd rather just get it all done in one, in one swoop, and I can just grab and go. Next, I add my boosters, okay? my Vital Spice Daily Blend, which contains eight essential herbs and spices every man and woman should have on a daily basis. Perfectly blended for your enjoyment. I put that right up in there. If you're a little sick, depending on where you at, because we got people from all over, from coast to coast. If it's hot where you're at right now, put a one. If it's cold where you're at right now, whatever city you're in, put a number two. If it's hot where you're at, Put a one. If it's cold, put a number two. And you guys are going to see the variance of difference. Some places it's hot like a mug right now. Other places it's cold. It's freezing. It's snowing. It's a blizzard. So with all that being said, all these temperature drops, they can really mess with you. You know what I mean? It could be 85 and sunny today in Texas and then maybe 49 degrees in two days. What happens is that messes with your immune system, all that hot and cold. So this is that immune, immune boost. I have trouble saying that word. I had a speech issue when I was a kid, so I still have trouble saying a few words. And immune is one of those words. So immune boost, I gotta say it slow just so I can say it correctly. I dropped some of that in there too as well. This is just vitamin C, all natural vitamin C, none of that fake stuff. Lemon peel, ginger, all the good stuff. And then also, we have this thing, this monster that comes out every spring. It gets all over your car. It gets all over your roof. 
It gets all over everything outside your grill that you ain't used. It's called pollen. So I like to put this brand new product that I just came out with today called the Vital Spice Allergy Aid, which is perfect for smoothies, teas, juices, but I'm putting it in the smoothie. Just a couple shakes of that up in there. And all this does is power boost your smoothie. It fortifies you. If you're the type of person that just likes to take a, a gazillion pills every day and all that type of stuff, listen, I watched my mama do that growing up and I don't like that. Let me add some yogurt to this too. I'm not a pill guy, you know what I mean? I'm an all natural brother. I, everything I do is all natural, okay? Everything I love is all natural. I don't do the fake stuff, you understand? So you can opt for the pills if you like the pills, do the pills. But for me, I like all natural. So I'm gonna put a little yogurt in there just to thicken it up a little bit. And then we're gonna finish it off. <clears throat> we're gonna finish everything off. Anybody wanna come over here and do these dishes? Damn. We're gonna finish it off with some apple cider vinegar, all right? Just two capfuls of that. Boom. Bam, two capfuls, just to get your insides right, you know what I mean? Close this all up. Now before I blend this, I want y'all, what, what, what color do you think this is going to be? It might be obvious, but sometimes you never know. I've been surprised. What color do you think this is going to be when I mix it on up? Someone said red. Do you add the immune before or after freezing? After, I add it when I'm actually making the smoothie. Pink, purple, golden brown, orange. Oh y'all, we got 10K likes. Thank you to everybody double tapping the screen too. Pink, brown, all right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, need some water. And before I get that, Blended. I want to shout out everybody that's ordering right now. I got, of course, I got to give a shout out to Carolyn from Maryland. She just went ahead and got that straight drop rub, all-purpose rub, and a double dose of that Delta Dust. Big shout out to Carolyn from Maryland. I want to give a shout out to uh, Ryan up there in North Carolina. Got a three-pack of that Dirty Bird rub, which is 13 all-natural herbs and spices. You can make the best fried chicken in your life just with this. You also got that straight drop rub. That straight drop seafood boil and that Texas steak rub that I use on this uh, Delta pot roast. So big shout out to Ryan up there in North Carolina. Remember, use that code Donna, 35% off. All right, let's see what happens, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Donna, Donna. Ooh. I don't know, y'all. Is this red or purple? It looks beautiful to me, though. The code is Donna. The code is Donna. For, and it's 35% off, not 30% off. Is that red or purple to y'all? What color is that? Is that red or purple to y'all? I don't even know. But this is the color that you need to be, like... People are eating gray stuff and, and brown stuff and black stuff all the time. What do you think that's going to do to you? You need that vibrant color in your life right there. You understand what I'm saying? Let's open it up. Look at this. Now, if I just presented this to you, you would think it was some ice cream, but it's not. This is beets. This is strawberries. This is banana. This is kale. This is grapefruit. This is orange. This is vital spices. This is all natural. I can't, I can't look at it anymore. I got to go in, y'all. Salute. Instant mood changer, y'all. And you know how I know it's an instant mood changer? Because it makes me say stuff like this. That's good, Sade. Listen. 
Yes, this recipe is on my site, and it's the last video I just posted on my page, live, right now. Awesome. Ginger is in the Vital Spice. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is what's in the Vital Spice. And I don't care. I'll tell y'all. You can use it if you can make your own version, whatever. But you don't have the recipe, so it don't make no difference. This is what's in the Vital Spice. Cinnamon, pepper, turmeric, ginger, mint, cilantro, basil, and parsley. That's what's in the Vital Spice. That's called the Essential 8 herbs and spices that every man and woman needs on a daily basis. Now, if you want to chop that up every day and ground it up in a nice spice like this, you can do that. Or you can just grab this. Get it for 35% off. Use that code Donna at UncleDibs.com. We have about 11, excuse me, someone else just got 10 slots left. I only did the first, I think, 35 people. So we got 10 slots left. If you want to grab that 35% off code, you have to be next 10 people to put that code in and it'll work, all right? This is so good right here. A lot of people be, are, are afraid to eat beets. If you like beets, put a number one in the comments. If you don't like beets, put a number three. I'm not talking about like Dr. Dre beets. I'm talking about beets to vegetable. If you like beets, put a number one. If you don't like them, put a number three. I'm going to tell you all something about beets, y'all. That they're not gonna tell you, but, I, but, but I'm just gonna tell you. I got the information. I got the information. All right. So beets. Beets are good for something that's very important, especially in our community. It helps improve your blood flow. Okay, it's, it's kind of ironic that it looks like blood with the red, but it helps improve your blood flow, which helps it improve your. Um, blood pressure so this is a all natural way to improve your blood pressure without swallowing a whole bunch of skittles all the time a whole bunch of pills all the time whatever they're giving you at the doctor's office I'm not a doctor do whatever your doctor tells you if you believe it that's fine but there's ways that you can heal yourself naturally so if you don't want to just be eating beets raw that might not be the most appealing thing to everybody you can mix it in a nice smoothie like this. This exact smoothie recipe that I just did right now, it's on my site, UncleDebs.com. And then also, I want to show you guys something else. Let me grab, let me grab something that's near and dear to me. Two seconds. Let me grab this because this is near and dear to me, and I want y'all to have it, especially in situations like this. <coughs> So, at the end of last year, I released something very special to me. It's called my very first cookbook. It's called That's Good Shawty. And I have a whole section in my cookbook called Vitals. That's me right there. This is a hard cover book. This is not no binder. This is a real deal. And these are vital recipes, okay? Power smoothies, all right? My all-natural vital roots tea that everyone keeps asking about. It's right here in the cookbook, y'all. Green goddess pasta. All-natural, all-natural, all-natural recipes right here for your kitchen. Listen, every kitchen needs a cookbook, all right? Just like every home needs a welcome mat, Every kitchen needs a cookbook. Why not start with this one, all right? Someone said, I made your Nashville hot fried chicken and used the Nashville hot seasoning. Appreciate that, Boyd. Listen, I have so many chicken recipes in here too, Boyd. I don't know if you got this, uh, if you got the recipe off the site or off the book, but I have so much chicken. I mean, classic fried chicken, classic Louisiana fried chicken. You don't have to stand in line at Popeye's anymore. You can get it right here. Actually, here it is, right here. This is my Nashville hot recipe right here. Hot honey gold, hot honey gold, honey gold hot chicken. Thank you, Boyd. Thank you for getting the book, Boyd. I appreciate that. This is what Boyd made right here. And that cook along song is Jill Scott Golden. I have a, a pair of songs with every single recipe 
because if you don't know about my past, I used to be in music, I was a DJ. Music is my life, and also food is my life. So I always combine music while I'm cooking, while I'm thinking of recipes, while, I'm writing, while I writing, wrote this book. So music is a very big part of my life. Even from the very first page, you guys see, this is some of my past right here in the music industry and life. You can start from up here. You see me here with Nipsey Hussle, RIP. You see me down there with Lauren Hill, right? Where are my Texas people at? You guys see me right there with, with Zero. You see me right here at um, First Avenue Club, which is where Purple Rain was filmed, right there in Minneapolis. You see me out there in Sydney, Australia on tour, okay? You guys see me on stage right here. This is back when I used to DJ for artists named Big Crit. Had the big Cadillac right in front, you know what I'm saying? You see me here in Cuba. Like, listen, this is part of my life, you know what I'm saying? This is part of my life. You can go to get this book and the link in my bio. So just go to my page, go to UncleDibs.com, or just hit my name up here at the top. It'll take you right to my site, and you can see it right there. Just click that, and you'll get it, all right? All right, I'm going to show you how to find the link in the bio. I'm going to show you how to find the link in the bio on my iPad, all right? So, let me open up TikTok. <clears throat> Let's make some of it. All right. So here's my here's my TikTok. This is what it looks like on on uh, on um, on an iPad. All right. So this is what it looked like on your phone. Click that link right there, right there, and it takes you to this link in the bio right here. Scroll down. That's the book right there. Yep, the code is Donna, D-O-N-N-A. And it'll take you right to the book, just like that. Now the code doesn't work on the book, but it works on all my seasonings, okay? And just like if you just wanna shop the seasonings, go right there, scroll down. I have it all separated for you so you can easily find what you're looking for. All purpose seasonings, low sodium, vital seasonings like we use for that smoothie, poultry, seafood, Cajun and Creole, barbecue, beef, spicy, whatever you want. Barbecue season coming up, all right? I got everything there for you, all right? Unk takes care of you, okay? Unk takes care of you because he loves you, all right? So use that code Donna. We got about three more uh, Donna codes left. It's only for the first 35 people, so hopefully uh, you, you have some speedy fingers and you can get what you need, okay? Thank you so much for the love, y'all, for real. Much love to uh, Grown Ish in the chat, moderating things. Donna, I'm gonna make you a moderator too because you've been holding it down the past couple of lives as well. So Donna, if that's okay with you, I'm gonna make you a moderate, moderator from here on out. Appreciate that. This smoothie, man. Mm. Bustin'. So listen, y'all. That full recipe for the Delta Pot Roast, a.k.a. Mississippi Pot Roast, will be on my site, UncleDibs.com, the site I just showed you. Look for it tomorrow, or if you're just now watching this, it should be on there by now. I'm going to also put the final result on my story so you can see what, what it's supposed to look like. I know you're like, well, what is it? What's the end result look like? The end result's going to look busting, trust me. So make sure you stay tuned to the story, too, as well. Much love for the 13K. Thank you for growing this, for holding it down to the whole live. Big shout out to you, babe. Once again, I got about two more codes left. Use that code Donna for 35% off. Let me shout out anybody else that just ordered. I'm gonna give a shout out to Wanda. Big shout out to Wanda up there in Virginia Beach. She got that allergy aid. She's, she, she's, she's keeping that pollen away from her because she got that allergy aid, okay? And then she also got that bottle spice. I know Wanda takes care of her wellness, so big shout out to you, Wanda. Thank you so much. Let me see anybody else. Big shout out to Diane. She also got that out here in Texas. She also got that allergy aid. Brand new product, y'all, so I'm very proud of it. I'm all about doing uh, products that can help you, not just stuff to make money you know what i'm saying so you know i find out what helps me i was like you know what i'm gonna put this out for the general public 
and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Mm. This smoothie recipe. So this is called the March seasonal seasonal smoothie. And the reason why it's called that is because it's filled with all produce that is in season in the month of March. The strawberries, the beets, the oranges, the grapefruit, the banana, all that, the kale, all that is in season right now. So all I did was blend it on up, added a couple of uh, superchargers to keep me right and nice. And this is what you get right here. You can make this right at home for nothing. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. There's one more code left for Donna. And after that, it'll be over with, okay? Use that code Donna, D-O-N-N-A, for 35% off. I appreciate y'all tuning in on this live. Thank you for everybody with the nice comments. Everybody that double tapped the screen, thank you so much. We hit 14K, and I appreciate every, each one of you that hit that like button. Hit that follow button. Also, one more thing. Important, important, important. I am like 3,000 followers away from 500K here on TikTok. So I will be doing my 500K giveaway very soon. The quicker you follow, the quicker you get your friends to follow, your family to follow, your kids to follow, your dad and mom to follow, the quicker we'll get to 500K. In order to be part of the 500K giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my email list. So just like I showed you before, the link in the bio, I'm gonna bring it back. Go to the link in the bio on my page and you can sign up to my email list right there. And it'll take you right to the sign up page. So if you wanna be part of the 500K giveaway, go to the link in the bio, go to uncledibs.com and you can see that pop up, put your email in and when we hit 500K, you'll be entered. But you have to be following me too as well, all right? 500k giveaway, go to uncledibs.com, sign up, put your email in, and let's go ahead and get this, all right? Much love, y'all. Y'all be good, y'all be safe, y'all be smart, and I'll see you soon.